you know, normal employee. Okay, they will do their business only. They don't care about the company. How about the, your uh, company this year turnover target? Mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows, yes. They don't care about that. Today, we are very happy to welcome very special guest, Mr. Choi Bung Sik. He's the very special friend to us, and more importantly, the special friend of Vietnam in general. And Mr. Choi Bung Sik is one of the most respected businessmen in both Korean and Vietnamese business community. He's the former general director of LG Cable, the former chairman of Overseas Korean Association in Vietnam, the former chairman of Korean Trading Association in Vietnam, and now he is the executive advisor of Korean SME Association in Vietnam. So most importantly, he has been in Vietnam in almost 30 years. And Mr. Choi Bong Sik is the first person witness of both Korean and Vietnamese development. He was a backer of core technology in his own words when he was working for LG. And now, with an undying resolution and passion, he wants to contribute and help Vietnamese entrepreneurs to understand the same wisdom that he spent a lifetime to collect. And there he introduced himself if there is one word to describe Mr. Joy, he would be the transporter of change. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Joy Bong Sik. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I'm doing my best yeah. to, to devote myself to connect uh, between Vietnam company and Korean company. So I think this is the best chance to cooperate with each other. So, and also I want to devote myself for all the CEO of mine to change it. Mm. Now, if all CEO in Vietnam change your mind, I'm sure your company will be continuously successful. During my staying in Vietnam, I recognize many, many things to do, but keep in your mind only one thing. Change your mind, how you can develop your company, how you can change your employee together. This is one of the way to survive in the very near future and forever. <laughs> There's things I want to uh, hand over and share my idea to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Choi, for sharing at the seminar. Uh, we have a lot of questions and interest, not only from the audience, but also from the other guest speaker that day. And one of very, very important keyword, but most people don't understand, is the ownership. So could you please tell us what is ownership in organization exactly? Okay, ownership is a kind of mind for all employees to make the company develop as mm -hmm. same as owner. Uh, for the, the best ownership, autonomy is one of the key words. We can divide all employees, three kinds. The worst employee they don't want to follow company regulation, the manual. The normal employees, okay, they always they follow the company manual and the standard. The best employees, not only following the regulation and manual, but also they create something for cost reduction and better quality and high speed 
they always consider about how we can change, how we can create new way to go ahead. We have to, of course, we can say this one autonomously, okay? not compulsory. Mm -hmm. The ownership can make all employee is acting autonomously. So autonomy itself is very important keyword for the company management. So what you are saying is with ownership mindset, it will help the leader to create autonomy and thus will promote the best kind of employee, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. And uh, can you give us more example of how do you tell if this company is having ownership mindset or it doesn't have? There are many uh, famous companies now they are adapting uh, ownership. But you can find very easily in the street, Starbucks, okay. coffee shop. Why the Starbucks become number one in the world? If you uh, go to the several Starbucks one by one, maybe you can recognize all the layout for the location of the uh, coffee machine, location of the cup, location of the table, every shop different. Normally, the franchising, in this case franchising, okay, they must follow the manual. But in case of Starbucks, they different, understand? Autom autonomously, they consider, they con check again about the environment and then potential customer and then they think about how we put, how we design by themselves. You understand? So the manager in, the, uh, in each location can design the design. Oh, can design by themselves. Right. Yeah. That's suitable mm. for the, that location. Mm. Suitable how for that we season, can right? attract the customer. Okay. okay. And right. what the joy mm. is, mm. even though the company still follow a certain ADN or recipe, but with the correct amount of ownership, mm. they give the powers to the men on the ground so they can decide by themselves mm. okay, what kind of food, what kind of drink and how we should uh, organize okay. the shop that is best for this area. Mm. Is that how we can attract the customer more and then how we can give the better service to the customer. Yep. Right. So ownership is good and uh, that it allows Mm. You enable the people on the ground, is it correct? Mm. Yeah, so it's very important. Right, but we will still keep the core values okay, of the brand. Yes. The mm. core value of this company mm. will still keep. So taste of the coffee. If you visit to uh, Starbucks, uh, for example, uh, Bading, what, Huan Kim, yes. any place, even Korea, Starbucks in Korea, Starbucks in the okay. United States, in Vietnam, the taste the same. All that right. means recipe same. But interior design, okay, they can decide by themselves. All right. That's a key point for their success. Okay. okay. So ownership and enabling is very good. What else? I okay. This is a story, a real story. I when I was working with the uh, factories. The manager was a uh, Koreans, mm -hmm. and we were doing some uh, injection, plastic injection molding products, right? And the Korean manager was supposed to deliver uh, toolings for the product, but the, the tool the tool kept failing, maybe two times, three times. Then I noticed that he he burst into tears. He he, he kept crying like a like a baby in front of everybody, in mm -hmm. front of the staff. So mm -hmm. is it a sign of ownership in this story? Oh uh, yes. I think so. Uh, if he had no ownership, okay, he can give up immediately. He tried so many times and then finally failed and he cried. This one, in a sense, he considered his, he is owner. He, so he, he did his best to make success, but finally failed, so finally he cried. So this comes from the ownership. Right. I basically agree with you. Yes. Uh, if the employee have strong ownership, they confuse the same as owner. The same as his own work. Yeah. Oh, right. Owner, owner. <laughs> okay. 
So I remember two very important words uh, related directly to the organization behavior. The one word is uh, res responsibility, and the other word is account accountability. Accountability. Yep. So what about the difference between two words? No, no, it's not accounting. Yeah, I think there's a distinct difference. A lot of people confuse the two words, mm. but I mm. think there's a distinct di difference between responsibility and accountability. Okay, responsible meanings, uh, for example, a husband responsibility mm. or a, a manager responsibility mm. is more toward the positions. Mm. So we have certain kind of responsible, right? But accountability is something that you take ownership of the problem is your own thing, mm. right? So it's totally uh, different, and, and and you are not only taking the responsible for executing the work, you also taking responsible for uh, how you do it, how other people feel about it. So that is accountability. So the accountability is more ownership than the responsibility, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. All right. Vice versa, how can you tell uh, if a company is without ownership culture? How do you tell? Maybe without ownership yes. culture, nobody guarantee the company future. For example, if we have very urgent and important job, one worker have to do this job continuously from eight o'clock start. Okay, and. As you know, from 12 o'clock to 1 p.m. is lunch time, yes. break time. And 5 p.m. it finished. How do you think about that? Normal case. Okay, even they don't care about this important or what other thing. Okay, 5 o'clock get close and then they go out. If our employee have strong ownership oh I must solve this problem I must finish as far as I can do even midnight I have to work continuously the two person the different activity different okay so one person who have ownership one person who doesn't have ownership so basically all the company environment is same. Mm. So, uh, if the company have ownership culture, all employees, the, all the member of the company, they consider all the business, all the uh, important point, important management. Okay, okay. I have to follow. I have to do. I have to complete. This is my responsibility accountability so without ownership okay owner owner I'm an employee okay I have to I can work only eight hours finish they're quite different the kind of people work as machine okay not man this this <laughs> give me a, a reminder uh, my first job where is when I uh, my first job in Singapore was working for a Korean company okay. actually. Uh, we do uh, semiconductor equipment uh, service. Mm -hmm. So when our customer have a machine breakdown, me and my uh, at that time Korean manager we go in and repair the machine, and we was in the fact the semiconductor fact for three days, mm. never go home. For three days, never go home. We do the work until the machine up and running again. Then we go home. At that mm. time, I thought that my Korean manager is crazy. But are you saying that is a normal work ethic in Korea and is something that we should learn from? Mm. So Daniel, so should we talk a little bit about that case, right? Yeah. So, so for you, yes. What about the reason? What about the reason that uh, that manager or that people they contribute a lot? They have the ownership attitude. Why? The reason. Daniel, you can remember? 
Yes. Uh, when I, when we have the, the forum, okay, yes. at that time, I shout like this. Company success is my success. You understand? Yes. Oh, company success. I don't care about company success. All I care about my success. They never concern about the company. Extra business. You okay, can. You understand? Company success. So I devote myself to make the company success. It, it, it was just. Mm. It was just not me that think that the Korean manager was crazy. But it's also our Singaporean. The company was in Singapore. Our Singaporean. Uh, customer also think that those guys are crazy, you know. Mm. When 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 they were working for the whole day, they saw us there. They go they go back sleep. Next day they come back. They still saw us working on the machine. Mm. And then at the end of the day, when they go back, they sleep again. Mm. Next day they go back. They still see the the three of us in the fact working. Not, 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 I mean, we did have some rest. We slept under the machine for maybe half an hour, and then we and then we, we That's correct. And then we okay. do it again. Mm. I didn't understand that is ownership. I was a young boy. Fresh graduate, I didn't understand that it's what ownership, but I just follow and then, and then, and nobody was teaching me about ownership. All oh, right, right. The okay. That, now that we got the reason, right? Yeah. yeah. Now I understand that it's called ownership. Uh, the car, we, we we can shout, okay? Customer is the king. Yeah. You understand? So delivery time is very very important. Yeah. When we receive order from the customer, okay, we have to decide the delivery date. But we have some problem, so we cannot meet the delivery time. In this case, normally we work eight hours. Okay, mm -hmm. if we consider about uh, our customer, mm -hmm. customer the king. So even we work twelve hours, twenty hours per day, we must finish, and then we must keep the delivery date. So if we don't have ownership. Okay, how we can work? Get okay, 12 hours, 20 hours per day. So ownership will make the employee automatically hmm. think about the customer. Okay. And it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's hmm. very good for the company. But we must understand, okay, we are owner, for example. We are owner, but we can ask, we can uh, introduce ownership to the, our employee and then we expect okay. oh they follow the ownership but this nonsense normal human is different from this case in this case we when we share the company situation we must make our employee or we understand the company situation now we have to devote ourselves to make and solve this problem. That means without any information about the company, you understand? Yeah. How they consider, how they think, oh, we devote ourselves to the company develop more. In case of the Vietnam company, maybe most of the company, the CEO, they do not share the company core information. Mm. So, you know, normal employee, okay, they will do their business only. They don't care about the company. So it's a little job to articulate the core information in the company mm. so that everybody will know and then slowly they will develop the ownership by themselves. Okay, so for example, we are family. Yeah. Ownership is a kind of family ship. Okay. We are brother and, okay, mm -hmm. one house very big problem fundamentally no money okay. in this case i'm father in this case if i do not inform to my son oh why my father become very lazy lazy they don't care about the father if we are really consider about the family ship mm. the father must inform to the children or oh, my son unfortunately I lose a chance to get a job. So maybe it takes one month or two months. All right. Okay. So even though we feel very hungry, mm. okay, okay, India, 
So in this for, case, yeah. maybe right. the son uh. agree exactly, mm. and then they will do their best to support father. So sharing the mm. information is very important. Yes, and also mm. sharing the ideas, sharing okay. the situation, mm. right, is very important. Mm. Yes, and mm. I also just pick up that ownership will also allow people to bear more hardship. So they don't complain. They don't they complain. They vote more. They vote more. Correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. And also, one thing, one more question, right? Mm. I noticed a lot of companies in Vietnam, for example, when there's a problem happen, customer complain, mm. then the first reaction is to, to give some reason, or maybe to blame. Mm. It's not my problem, it's a technical problem, or it's not my problem, it's a material department problem. Mm. Is it a sign of a company lacking ownership? Sure. Yeah. Mm. And, and normally, what do you think mm. uh, the, the company should react when a customer complains like that? How about the, your the company, you see your turnover target? Mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows, yes. They don't care about that. 